today I'm back with another video and I feel like I haven't talked to you guys for quite a long time because usually I do all of these cool edited videos and now I just wanted to sit down, not sit down, but stand up and talk to you. I'm actually having a huge giveaway right now on my channel so if you'd like to have a chance to win your own Polaroid camera as well as a few other things then definitely check out the link in the description. If you're a part of my Snapchat family then you probably know that a few days ago I asked you guys to ask me questions and you guys did and I received an overwhelming amount of questions so I'll try my best to answer them. How did you know that you wanted to become a YouTuber? Hey Carla, so your question is very popular and I get it asked a lot. So what inspired me to start YouTube was the fact that I can combine three of my favorite things together. So it's filmmaking, editing, production, and the whole process of movie making. Together with fashion, DIY, lifestyle, and then share it with you guys. Such an amazing, amazing audience. I love from Germany. I just wanted to ask you what your parents think of YouTube and if they support it. And yeah, uh, keep on doing what you do. I love you. Thanks so much for your question. And yes, I'm very lucky enough to have parents who support me with what I do. And as long as I'm happy, they're happy too. And same with me. If I make my parents happy, I'm happy too. What's a place you would like to visit in the whole wide world? I really love traveling and one of the places I would like to visit in the near future is definitely Hawaii, like exotic places basically. Comment down below where you live so that way I might even come to your country and organize a meet and greet there. Do you play any sports or do you prefer watching them? I do ballet every weekend, so I hope that will count as an exercise. But yeah, overall I prefer watching sports and doing them. What's the number one food that you can't live without and I love you, you're adorable. It would definitely be pizza, pasta, or Shake Shack. I've seen how much your style has changed recently and I've been loving it, like I love it so much. So what is your style icon? Thank you so much, it's so sweet of you. I just get inspired by whatever I see in the magazines or on Instagram, on social media, and all of that. And then I just try to combine all these items in my head, and then this is what turns out. What does it feel like to go in public being a YouTuber? That's a very interesting question. I actually have something to say about it. Last weekend, I was in my ballet class, and then when I went out, there were two adorable girls, and they were both my viewers, and it just made me so, so happy. Seeing you guys smile while seeing me just makes me smile too. And I also received a few comments on my latest Instagram pictures saying, Oh, I saw you going into a black car. Oh, I saw you right there. Please, whenever you see me, don't be scared to come up to me, because I promise you I don't bite, and I just would love to meet you and hug you and everything. And I want to question you, what do you think of Ariana Grande? Oh, yes, and I love you, and all the... The things that you do. I have a story about Ariana Grande and me and my friends. Let me tell you about it. I have this friend and I don't want to say her name in this video for safety purposes. She's just obsessed with going on Twitter and then going on fan accounts and seeing where different celebrities are walking around in the, in the city, I mean. So she found Ariana Grande's apartment the other day. It was last year, I think. So she told me, I know her, come with me, we'll go meet Ariana Grande. She always goes out and takes pictures with all of her fans in a garage. Oh my god, let's go. So I'm very unexperienced with that. So I was like, okay, why not? We went in the middle of summer, in such hot weather, right in front of Ariana's apartment. There were lots of people standing around, like paparazzi and everything. The day before we went there, people were lucky enough that Ariana actually came out. But the day we went, nothing happened so we stood there for a few hours and then i was like okay bye i'm done but she stood there for longer and longer and no success but the next day ariana actually came out again and we were not there so these were all the questions i answered today and don't worry if i didn't get to yours because i definitely will also make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more videos because i post every weekend and i'll see you all in my next video bye